everyone, my name is Isa from the Innovation Consortium and today I'd like to share with you about pipes. Uh, water pipes or water sections. These are hollow tubes we normally use in our fabrication works, in the workshop, take for instance framing uh, of, frame of shutters, they would be window shutters or door shutters or machine frames. We basically use these hollow pipes or tubes which are called sections or you can call them pipes. Uh, and briefly I would like to, to talk about the different types of pipes or the, mo or the most common types of pipes we use in the framings and fabrication of shutters and whatsoever you would like to frame. <clears throat> there are three main common types of pipes we use in the framing or fabrication works and with me on my table here I have those three types of pipes or the types of sections we use in these works uh, first of all we have the round pipe it's a round section as you can see it's a pipe it's a tube but it's round in, in its format so this is the round section or a round pipe basically the second one we, we have the rectangular pipe and for it as you can see it's rectangular the section is rectangular so basically that's why you call it a rectangular section or rectangular pipe the section is rectangular and third that we are having the square the square section as you can see also the section square in its format the length and the width are all square the third part of it I would like to explain about the specification how do you specify these given types of pipes uh, these could be dimensions the specification uh, mainly in dimensions by dimensions I mean the length width diameter the thickness so basically that's it that's, that gives us the, the specification of these pipes now to talk about the specification of these pipes uh, we, we had said earlier on it's about the dimension uh, take for instance if you have our round pipe we measure the outside diameter uh, we measure also the bore or the inside diameter with the help of these vernier calipers you measure the bore plus maybe the thickness but once you have the, the outside diameter and the inside diameter the thickness will be automatic but you can also measure you can take caution and measure the thickness otherwise to confirm for the rectangular section we measure the length we measure the width plus the thickness we measure the length take for instance this one is 40 then the width is 20 millimeters plus the thickness the thickness which is 2.5 so for this rectangular pipe we are having the dimensions it's 40 by 20 by 2.5 the thickness and for the square section we take the cross-sectional width because it's square meaning the measurements are the same on both faces we take a measurement showing 24.5 the other side is also 24.5 uh, here with the rest the, the the other thing we consider it has to be the thickness the thickness plus the cross section width the, the thickness is one millimeter so meaning the dimension of our square pipe is 24 24.5 by the thickness of one millimeter now for the overall length uh, this one is we've cut just samples but the standard overall length for all pipes be it round be it square be it rectangular it has to be 
or 6 meters 5.8 meters or 6 meters so those are the two basic length we have on the market now for for for, for our pipes once you you might be having a job and you, you might not need the overall length of a pipe which is 5.8 take for instance if you need only two meters uh, you can access the Vuma app on the google play store you download it it's called the Vuma app it's free once you download it you'll be able to contact the dealers of those pipes you can get a half a pipe three quarter of a pipe a foot of a pipe once you have the Bima app so feel free to download the Bima app now <clears throat> to elaborate more about the specifications of these pipes um, for, for a round pipe the dimensions we, we normally take consideration of is the outside diameter uh, the inside diameter and the thickness of the pipe outer diameter inside diameter and the thickness but at times once they give you the inside diameter and the outside diameter the thickness will be automatic you just subtract the the outside diameter actually the inside diameter from the outside diameter you get the thickness then for the square pipe we get the cross-sectional width uh, plus the thickness so that's it for a square pipe only the width cross-sectional width and the thickness for the length, we said it's standard 5.8 or 6 meters. Uh, for the rectangular pipe, it's the cross-sectional cross width and the cross-sectional height, that's the thickness. Uh, the length is also the same, 5.8 or 6 meters. So for all sections or round pipes or tubes, they are all 5.8 or 6 meters in the length, the overall length. The rest, are the dimensions which give us the specifications to talk about the other specification we we, we see on these pipes it's it's the material specification uh, that includes we have the mild steel which is this one the commonly used smiled steel uh, we have stainless steel which is also common used in the food 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 processing industries uh, we have plastic pipes have also aluminium pipes which are used for making the aluminium shutters and those are windows and doors uh, so basically that's it the material specification aluminum from the innovation consortium thank you very much